Extraordinary Attorney Wu has stolen the hearts of viewers everywhere, and especially Pak Eun Bin, who has become a favorite for the public for her betrayal of Woo Young Woo. However, as the show got renewed for a second season, we might not see Pak Eun Bin on our screens as Attorney Wu anymore. Extraordinary Attorney Wu has hit extraordinary levels of success, no pun intended. The first episode of the drama had a 0.9% rating, and that number had grown by tenfolds in only three weeks. The drama is already being discussed for a US remake, so you know that it's a hit in both South Korea and internationally. However, the topic of the drama itself was pretty controversial, and it had people really divided on it. Since the main character of Extraordinary Attorney Woo is a lawyer on the autism spectrum, it's only natural that people would have mixed feelings about how the character would be portrayed on the show. Would the producers push stereotypes about autistic people through the character of Woo Young Woo, or would they actually do their research and do their best to write her character as accurately as possible? The feelings were definitely mixed, but even even the small criticism that people on the autism spectrum had didn't stop the show's success, nor did it drive away potential viewers. Pak Eun Bin was also immensely praised for her acting. Netizens were in fact so impressed with her that their only concern about the US remake of the drama was if the West would be able to find an actress that could potentially level up to Eun Bin's acting and the raw emotion she shows in all the scenes. But even though the drama became so popular that even the actors were surprised by the success of it, it doesn't seem like it was enough for Eun Bin to want to return for a second season. Just accepting the role of Attorney Woo was quite a challenge for Pak Eun Bin. Autistic characters aren't very common in Korean shows, and if they are, they're inaccurately portrayed by the producers, often turning into caricatures or just used as a punchline. This is exactly why Eun Bin was scared to take on the role of Woo Young Woo in the first place. She was afraid that she wouldn't be able to portray her without pushing any stereotypes that could potentially offend autistic people. Because of this, Eun Bin had initially rejected the role, several times at that. The role was pretty interesting to her, but she was afraid about how she'd be able to portray it. In an interview with fashion magazine Allure Korea, Eunbin shared that she received the scripts of both The King's Affection and Extraordinary Attorney Woo at the same time. She said, I knew it was a good story, but I was not confident in playing it well at that time. It was a work that made me feel greedy, but a little burdensome at the same time. I was afraid and I wondered if I could perform it without hurting anyone or not. Thankfully, the producers seemed to know exactly what they wanted because they waited for Unbin to finish the shooting of The King's Affection before offering the role to her once again. Unbin said, Luckily, the director and screenwriter decided to wait for me. I felt their trust and decided to repay them. Therefore, I gathered my guts and accepted the offer. She added, It was really difficult for me to play that role, but at some point, I found a clue and it worked out smoothly from then on. That was also when I felt the expectation that the director and the writer had for me. I also have faith in myself. This work sometimes reminds me of my belief and it has given me the courage to face my fear. Being the professional actress she is though, she stayed true to her word and actually did her research in order to do her job as best as she could. On the approach she took to the role, she said that she wanted to take her own approach to the role because she didn't want to imitate a real autistic person or another neurodivergent character that already exists. She then consulted a professor and read books on the topic to prepare for the role. Unbin said, I met a professor to ask for advice on autism and learn some general characteristics of people with autism. She also revealed, I referred to books and played the role in my own way. There was a diagnostic criteria that doctors use. There were a few things I should keep in mind, so I imagined and acted them out. This pressure is exactly why Unbin might not return for the second season of the show. When the rumors about a season two of Extraordinary Attorney Wu started circulating around, fans were more than excited. That excitement only doubled when CEO of the drama's production company, Ace Tori, Lee Sung Bae, confirmed that the drama had been greenlit for a second season. Things got better once the CEO said that their goal was to keep as much staff from the original cast and the production team as possible, or at least 90% of it. But when an exclusive report by YTN was posted, it was said that the production team stated that everything was still being discussed, thus nothing about the second season had been confirmed yet. They were also notified that the production company wanted to keep the original cast and crew on deck, but they said that they weren't aware of any of this. The contradicting statements had the netizens confused. Were Ace Tori only giving confirmation without consulting the staff? Staff just to appease the viewers and keep them on their toes, or was a second season genuinely happening? The director of the show, Yu In Shig, also talked about the possibility of season two. The production team behind Extraordinary Attorney Wu held a conference on July 26th and discussed the potential of season two happening. The director said it's highly unusual for K-dramas to have several seasons, so the opportunity is a blessing in itself. He said, I've mentioned this at the premiere too, but for directors, having their shows go on to shooting season two, season three, and so on 
one is a blessing. He also discussed the troubles that come with having a second season happening, especially scheduling, since they plan to keep everyone on the production crew. The show also has to bring in a lot of money for it to even be a possibility of renewal, but we know that that's not a problem for extraordinary attorney Wu. He ended his statement by saying, What I can tell you though is that everyone involved deeply loves and cares for Wu Young Wu. The worst thing about this is that we got actual confirmation that the cast and crew genuinely didn't know anything about the second season. Literally nothing at all. And the confirmation came by none other than Park Eun Bin herself. She did a roundtable interview and was asked whether she would be renewing her contract or not. She responded, I did not receive any official confirmation of season 2. I only found out through the news reports like everyone else. Eun Bin also opened up about the amount of pressure she felt filming for the first season and how she doesn't know whether she'd be able to keep filming. She said, Before I accepted this project, I struggled with a significant amount of doubt and pressure. If I were to return for a sequel, then in order to meet the great expectations of the viewers, I would probably need to overcome even more doubt, even more pressure, and muster up a greater resolve than was required of me the first time. During all this, we forgot to ask the most important question. Did the cast even want the second season to happen? Even the viewers were divided on this. Some thought that the drama had a great ending and keeping it going for a season 2 would only ruin everything. The others just can't get enough of the characters and want to see more of them if the show ends up running for several seasons. Puck and Bean seems to agree with the first part. She revealed, If I were to share my honest thoughts, I feel like Attorney Wu as it is now is a project that was wrapped up neatly with all the affection that I could have given it. So if I were asked to unwrap it all, then give it more affection of a different kind, I would be at a loss over how to go about it. Eun Bin went on, I think it would require me to question and doubt to a much larger degree. In my heart, I see Young Woo walking toward a path where she can become an even better lawyer, but I also feel that I would be happiest leaving Young Woo's next steps to imagination. Her biggest fear about the show getting renewed is if the second season will be able to keep up with the expectations of viewers. As it was mentioned, it's rare for K-dramas to have more than one season, and if they do, the high expectations cause the fans to be disappointed when the drama doesn't go the direction they wanted it to go. She ended her answer by sharing, It's a difficult situation to address. The drama has already received an unimaginable amount of love, and so the demand and expectation will be immense. I wonder if it will really be possible to meet such high expectations. For now, I cannot be sure of anything. So, and I say this with a heavy heart, don't expect a second season anytime soon. If it does happen, then it will be a lot different from the first one. With Unbi not being sure if she wants to go on, Theo enlisting in the military, and the unknown schedules of the rest of the cast and crew, the only way for the show to go on would be if the director waited until everyone's schedules were free to film, or if the show gets cancelled. Even if it does, the show had a pretty good ending that wrapped everything up neatly, so I don't think any of us could complain. I think we have to wait and see what happens. Share your thoughts in the comments, and see you next time! Bye!